Hello everybody, so today I'm here to do a little bit of a different video. So I know I usually talk about books on this channel, obviously with a channel name called Bookables, you can guess just that. I also like to talk about TV, movies, and things of that nature too because I love those things. So fall is here, which means officially that TV is starting back up again, our regular shows that we watch every single year are back on, and I thought I would share with you what shows I'm planning to watch this year. I have done a few of these videos in the past, I did one last year, um, I think I did one before that, but either way my list mostly stays the same, I'm not gonna lie to you, but there are a couple new shows every year I check out, with this year being the exception, <laughs> but either way I thought I would tell you my schedule of what shows I plan to watch. Now this necessarily does not mean that I will watch all these shows guaranteed. Also this means that I don't watch these week to week. A lot of these I will save up till the end of the season and just binge it. I don't know. Either way, basically these are what shows I plan to watch this year. Of course we're starting with Monday. And there's only really one thing I watch on Monday and that is Dancing with the Stars. This one I watch off and on. If it's an interesting cast of like celebrities, I will watch them. Last season I really didn't watch at all. There wasn't in, there wasn't too many people that I was really rooting for or I was very much interested in. This season there's a lot of people that I'm interested in watching the progression. Frankie Muniz is on this season. That's random one of the Property Brothers. Um, I think another girl from Pretty Little Liars is on it and a few more other people that I'm interested in so I always start off really good with watching Days of the Stars but as the season progresses if my favorite people get voted off I don't really have much interest in it. Either way I do plan to watch this. I know for sure I'll start off watching it how long to continue with it. Your guess is as good as mine. And the other show I'm very interested in this year in particular is Kevin Can Wait. So this is Kevin James's new show. It came on last year, I think it was the first season, and I didn't really watch it to be honest with you, mainly because it was on CBS, and CBS is hard to like get. You have to go to their site to watch the shows. It's not readily available on Hulu, which is annoying. I think they even have their own streaming app. So I didn't watch it last season. Um, this season I really want to watch it because I believe Leah Remini is coming back and I... One of my favorite shows of all time is King and Queens. <laughs> I love that show so much. So the fact that these two are back together in a show makes me want to watch this so much. So I, mean, I love Kevin James, but I love Kevin James and Leah Remini. They're just a really good combination and I like the way they act together and their chemistry. So. Yeah, I plan to watch that. Again, who knows how long I'll continue on with it. Now moving on to Tuesday night, my favorite night of the whole week for TV, and that is because This Is Us. This Is Us is my favorite show that's currently on the air right now. I adore it. I'm not surprised at all. It came on last year. As soon as I saw the trailer for it last year before it came on, I was like, I already know this is going to be my favorite show. And I'm very finicky about starting new shows. I'm a very much person that's like, stick with what you know. That's how I am. But this show is so amazing. It gives me such parenthood vibes. I freaking love parenthood. This show is what I think TV networks have been missing. Just that really like good family drama that's centered at at the core of it is all about family and love and This Is Us portrays it so well. It tackles so many modern day issues such as adoption, racism, you know, LGBTQ things. It talks about anxiety. There's so many amazing things boiled into one in this show. Um, it's just an amazing show. So I watch that every single week. Um, there are a few weeks where I miss it. If I've heard it's been a real emotional episode, I have to like gear myself up for that because that show makes me cry. Like it's like Parenthood 2.0 seriously watch it. It's amazing. I'm sure you've heard all about it. And the other show I'm interested in, I'm not quite sure if I'll watch it, is The Mindy Project. This is The Mindy Project's final season and I used to really love The Mindy Project. Like the first couple of seasons I were all about it. I love Mindy Kaling from The Office and I love her memoirs and I was very interested in The Mindy Project and the first season of her show, uh, but that's okay. The first seasons for a lot of shows are a bit rocky because they're getting their groundwork. The second and third season of The Mindy Project I loved and then after that I kind of I don't know. I don't know what season this is. Last season I didn't really watch it all on Hulu. I really didn't like the way it was going. I felt like there was no character development with Mindy. I feel like she's the same as day one of Mindy and I don't feel like that's realistic. I feel like you need character growth. She has not changed really at all so I think that's really what turned me off of last season but since this is the last season I am going to check it out and watch it. I mean I don't know. I also think I stopped watching when Danny left the show because I love Danny and I hated the way they butchered his character with the things that he did, which I mean, in the show what he did and how it all happened was very justifiable, like he was a horrible character, what he ended up as, but I think they wrote him that way so you would not like him so he wouldn't return. I don't know. I mean, I just like, nothing will ever beat the Mindy and Danny relationship for me. 
I don't know, but either way, I'm gonna check it out. We'll see, it's this last season, so. Moving on to Wednesday, another one of my favorite shows that is currently on the air is Riverdale. Riverdale is the one show I am ashamed to admit I like. Like, we all have that one show or movie that's like your guilty pleasure, and you're like, yeah, I like that show, and you're like, you don't want to tell people about it. It's not the best show, okay? The acting's not great. The storyline's not great. It's got a lot of flaws in it, people. But is it freaking entertaining? Yes. It's like my new Gossip Girl with a murder twist, so I'm there for it. I haven't heard of Riverdale. It's kind of like a Archie comic thing. Like, they bring the Archie characters to life, but it's really gone off from there. It's really kind of inspired by Archie, I would say. Like I said, it's not the best show, but I look forward to it every single week and seeing what these characters are going to do and say. And getting into unrealistic situations. I feel like it's pretty well liars. Like, let's go into the woods without any cell phones or any flashlights or anything. That's always a good idea. When will people get the memo? I don't know. Riverdale's addicting. It's the show that I'm like, I hate to admit that I like. The other show I watch off and on is Modern Family. Again, with my thing, you'll hear me say this a lot, is I liked it a lot in its earlier seasons, but now I feel like it's kind of fading. I feel like they're just making the show because it makes money. I feel like the storylines have kind of gone askew. I feel like, honestly, it could have ended a few seasons ago and it would have been fine. There's just so many shows out there that I feel like are just making content, but not like really well-rounded content. They're just doing it because they know viewers watch and it makes money, which I guess makes sense. But I mean, I feel like I want more from it. So I watch that show off and on. That's not a show I look forward to every single week, but I still occasionally watch Moving it. on to Thursday night, or as we all like to call Shondaland, because that's when Shonda Rhimes puts all of her shows on. Of course, I'll be watching Grey's Anatomy. My relationship with Grey's Anatomy, I have quit Grey's Anatomy at least five times. I'm, <laughs> I wish I was kidding. I wish. I'm not kidding. And every time I'm like, I'm never gonna watch that show again. It's not that great. I come right back to it. <sighs> it's, I mean, okay. <sighs> It's never been the best show, but it's addicting. The relationships, the drama, the medical drama, it's insanity, but I love watching it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I watched the first half of last season, but not the second half. I just kind of lost interest, but I know as soon as this, this, I know as soon as the new season starts up, I'll start it again, and it's another one of those shows that I feel like the storylines are just kind of repetitive, and they're not making much sense, but they're just putting on the show because it makes a ton of money, and I mean, here you go. I'm a soccer forward. I'm falling for it. But I mean, ugh, Grays. It's, I don't know. It probably needs to end. It really does need to end, but I watched it anyway. The other show I plan to watch is Will and Grace. So Will and Grace is coming back, and I never really watched Will and Grace when it aired. I think I was a little bit young for its demographic, but I've always watched a few episodes here and there, and I love the idea of Will and Grace. It seems so much funny. I love Deborah Messing. I love Jack McCormick. They're all amazing, so, and Megan Mc McCall, I forget, I can't pronounce how you say that, her name. Uh, but she's Nick Offerman's wife, who was on Parks and Rec. Love him. Um, they're all just, it's such an amazing cast, and I love their humor. So I definitely want to check out their new season and coming back and I think it's gonna be hilarious And I'm definitely looking forward to it But I can't lie to you and say I'm a diehard fan because I haven't watched a ton of episodes But I do plan to watch it when it comes back on and the other show I'm gonna watch on Thursday I don't think it comes out until the later half of the year in January and that is scandal I think this is gonna be its last season too, which props because you know They're ending a show for once, but I it's another show that I quit repetitive I quit a ton and then I keep coming back to it it's only about Shauna Rhyme shows. Um, this one I feel like I quit because the relationship drama got too, like, I was just sick of it. I was so sick of the will they, won't they, will they, won't they. So I haven't watched a ton of last season, but I know when the new season comes on and the last season comes on, I will watch it. Shonda Rhimes just writes these addicting shows, and I don't watch How to Get Away with Murder. I need to get up on that. Why have I not watched that one yet? Moving on to Friday. There's not many shows I watch on Friday. In fact, the only show that's kind of interesting to me is Once Upon a Time, and that one is a very touch and go show for me. There will be a time where I'll binge in season and then I just won't watch it. I don't think I've watched the last two seasons. Once Upon a Time is a show that I'm interested in but I'm kind of like it's okay if I miss it. It's not that big of a deal. Definitely know I will finish the show. I don't know when this I don't know when it's ever going to end but I know whenever it does like 
call for its last season. I will watch the whole show because I am interested in it, just not a ton. I don't Saturday, feel like Saturday, there's no shows really come on because it's Saturday. And Sunday, the only show I watch every single week for sure is Bob's Burgers. And that's the only cartoon show I watch. Well, I mean, watch a ton of Daniel Tiger, but I mean, I don't watch that for fun. It's my son's favorite show. <laughs> but I love Bob's Burgers. I feel like Bob's Burgers is 100% an unrated show. I highly recommend it. It is hilarious. I love the humor in it. I love the family life in it. I love the fact that we work at a restaurant. It's just so funny. So I highly recommend you check it out because it's one of my favorite shows of all time. It's amazing. So there you have it. Those are all the shows I'm planning to watch this fall. These are really honestly shows that I will watch, whether they be week to week, whether they be where I, you know, have a few of them in queue and watch them all at once. Either way, these are shows I'm definitely watching this fall. If you are a huge TV fan, please let me know what your TV schedule is this fall as well. Do we watch some of the same shows? Do we watch something different? I would love to hear your favorites. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.